Cafe Cafe of Knowledge. How everybody doing today? Uh, I do want to talk about, um, as y'all see the title, this Black China uh, supposed to be uh, holding some lady hostage or some woman hostage or something in her hotel room or something like that. So um, I do want to talk about that right quick. Uh, about the Black China thing because um, it's all over the internet. Everybody's been talking about it, uh, about Black China holding some girl hostage in her hotel room and all this right here, okay? So first, I don't know if everybody know who Black China is, but I will give a quick spiel on who she is, okay? Now, first, let me get this out the way. Please hit like and subscribe before this video is over with, please. Okay, and I appreciate all my new subscribers and thank you to all the old ones too. But now everything in this video is allegedly, okay? We're going to go and get that out the way, okay? So now, uh, Black China was accused of holding a girl hostage or in her room, wouldn't let the girl out of her room or anything like that. Now, for the ones who don't know who Black China is, Black China uh, was a stripper, and then she turned to a model, okay? And then she's a business owner, okay? So, state that, you know, they, they say, and she does, she had a little reality show um that she had going on and she was saying that her upbringing was very rough and things like that and hey it's a lot of people out here that their upbringing was rough you know coming up whether it was in the household or outside the household but it's a lot of people who have grew up you know in a rough way or in a toxic environment and things like that they still become very successful when they get older, okay? So that's one thing. So yes, uh, China has said before, you know, that her rough background, upbringing or whatever, or toxic upbringing or whatever, but she did become successful, okay? And like I said, she was a stripper, and then she moved into um, being a model, and then she as she was doing the model thing, she started running her own business and have her own brand, okay? So now, during this time of Black China, she um, was very good, close friends with Kim Kardashian, okay? Now, her and Kim Kardashian was uh, kind of good friends, buddies, or whatever like that, okay? Now, um, Kim Kardashian... And her hung, you got to understand that they was they was real close friends, kind of allegedly close friends. And Black China was going with Tiger, the rapper. Okay? So she was going with the rapper Tiger. And then when she was going with the rapper Tiger, her, Black China and Tiger had a son together. Okay? While they was together. Okay? And then Black China and Tiger broke up, okay? Then when they broke up, Tiger started dating Kylie Jenner, which is Kim Kardashian's sister, okay? Now, of course, that made Black China and Kim Kardashian, kind of their friendship kind of fade off, okay? And they just stopped being friends, basically, okay? And you have to think about it. Black China and Kim are friends. So when Black China break up with Tiger, her boyfriend, and who she has a child by, he goes and date China's best friend's sister. Okay? And I guess it just couldn't it, it just didn't pan out for them to remain close friends, Black China and Kim. So they just separated, okay? Now, in 2016, in January. Well, I say around about, um, I say, right, yeah, around about January, January 2016, they say Rob Kardashian, which is Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner slash Kardashian brother, 
okay? Now, in January, around January 2016, Black China started dating Raw Kardashian, okay? The, the, the boy in the Kardashian clan, okay? So now, which is uh, Kim Kardashian and brother, Rob Kardashian, okay? So she started dating Rob Kardashian around January 2016. So now you got Kylie Jenner, uh, who is a Kardashian, is going with Black China's ex-boyfriend. And now you got China now dating the Kardashian's brother, Rob Kardashian, okay? Now... Of course, uh, they said that that ruffled the Kardashian feathers, okay? Allegedly. They said that when the Kardashians saw that their brother Rob was now dating Black China, it started ruffling some feathers in the Kardashian clan, okay? Now, so, now you, I don't know if people know, but <clears throat> Rob Kardashian you don't really see him on screen and stuff like that as much as you do the Kardashian girls, okay? Um, he, They said that he was going through depression, allegedly, and he was having problems with his weight fluctuating up and down, and he just wasn't in a real good place with himself and things like that. But now they say when he met Black China that, it seemed like he started pulling out of his depression and he was, seems to be very happy. And, you know, he seems to be very in love with Black China and Black China seems to, uh, you know, love him too and very happy with him and all that good stuff right there. And the Kardashian uh, clan there wasn't really feeling all that, y'all family. They, they, they really weren't feeling that, okay? So now, um, Black China... And Rob Kardashian, they had announced around about, um, I say, April 2016 that they had got engaged, okay? And then they got engaged, and then I said a month after they announced that they was engaged, then they announced that Black China was pregnant by Rob, okay? And they was expecting their first child together, okay? Now, in November the 10th, 2016, Rob and China welcomed their baby girl into the world, okay? So now, of course, these Kardashians really still ain't feeling this, okay? And so we have to, I, I wanted to do this, y'all, because it's a, it's, it's a lot of people, I'm going to get right back to that. But, you know, it's a lot of people talk about the Kardashian curse, allegedly, when it comes to the black males and stuff who date the Kardashian. It seems like either their career fall off or either they lose a lot of money or either something bad or something terrible is happening to them or either they seem like they kind of off upstairs in the head, like they kind of slipping away or something like that, you know. So they kind of call it the, a lot of people spread it that it's the Kardashian curse, allegedly, you know. I don't know if it's no curse or not, but it. a lot of people do say that it seems like whoever hooks up, black men who hooks up with them, seems like something goes wrong with that man's that male's career okay uh sort of like with uh tiger sort of like with kanye west uh with you see just what happened to travis scott now you know and it's just so many others that they said every time they hook up with those kardashians when they break up with them or something go wrong or whatever even when they with them it just seems like they not their self like they used to be Okay, now people always say that about the male side, but a lot of people never mention about the female side because you had a female who is black China who dated Rob Kardashian and it seems like things are going downhill with her too. You know, but people don't never focus on, they'll focus on what black China is doing and, oh, she's acting erratic. Or, oh, she's acting like something ain't right. Or she act like she got a mental problem or she act like this. Okay, but that's all they say. They never say she got the Kardashian curse. Okay, 
but they, but they put it on the male side, you see? So I just wanted to say that when people talk about that, they need to put a balance on it because not only does it look like that, that the men that they date, it also look like that with the woman that is in that they date, which is the male raw. Okay. So now I'm just saying, like I said, everything in here is allegedly, but the thing is black China was a part of that too. She dated a Kardashian which is Rob Kardashian, okay? So I just wanted to get that on out the way, okay? So now, like I said, in November the 10th, uh, 2016, Robin China had, uh, had a welcome a baby into the world, okay? A, a, a little girl. Now, to me, yes, Black China, before she met Rob, she had little issues and, you know, acting a little gangster and acting a little... But... She was still handling her business and you and she was still holding herself up and had a good upkeep to herself. No matter probably how she act or people don't agree with how she acts, that she act hood and then some, you know. But the point is, she was handling her business and had her shit together. Okay? Point blank period. No matter how she was acting, she still was a model. She still was a business owner. She still had a brand. And she was still, every time she hit the camera, she was looking flawless, okay? Most of the time, okay? So now, when her and Rob gets together, then I say around to December 2016, their relationship started taking a uh, dive, you know, a downward turn. And so, and I'm going to let y'all see these clips and everything. I just want to give y'all kind of a scoop on Black China, a little scoop on her, because I just want y'all to follow me so y'all will see what I'm saying. Okay, uh, she started, stuff started happening to her too after she was involved with them Kardashians. Okay, that's how I look at it. You know, that's how I feel. You know, it, it might not be true, but this is how I feel. I just want everybody to see because they always talking about the male side, but not talking about this female side. Okay, now, um, so in December 2016, their relationship started taking a down turn and all that type stuff, and things wasn't going good. And then somebody uh hacked. Well, you know, they started having where they were separating and get back together, separating, get back together. But then somebody hacked Black China's account, her social media account, or her text account, or her phone account or something. They hacked it. And so when they hacked it, they exposed that Black China was using Rob and cheating on Rob with other men. OK, so they was having the text messages as proof or whatever like that. Now. Uh, Black China said that the information that was leaked out is legitimate. Okay, so I was like, wow. So she didn't deny it. She said that, well, whoever hacked it and whoever leaked it, it's legitimate. That's all she said. Okay, now, but she did feel, she said that she felt like Rob Kardashian was the one behind that, you know, because now their relationship is... Uh, separate and on the rocks a little bit, okay? And then she also said that Rob put out some um, explicit photos of her and they went to court on that and everything like that as well. And then um, when they went to court, I think they ruled that um, they put that Rob would have to, he had a restraining order on him. So, you know, to not come around Black China or whatever like that, okay? So now, Black China did, you know, she um said that the leaked stuff was legitimate, okay? So now, and we got to that, now, Black China, the, the Kardashians, of course, distanced themselves from Black China. Rob did, the Kardashian sisters, everybody, and Black China distanced herself from them, allegedly, okay? So so now, uh, the Kardashians just felt like Rob would be better off without being in a relationship with Black China, okay? So now, like I said, after a year of Black China and Rob being together, they separated, they split, went their own ways, all that stuff, okay? Now, Rob and China is going, going through um, 
some type of custody thing. They they went through a custody drama thing round. It was just crazy, y'all. It was just crazy, you know. And they went to court for custody dramas. They every time you turn around, you saw them on the news or something like that. Uh, Rob and China going through a custody battle and all that stuff, and then a battle, okay? And then in September 2017, Rob and his sister Kylie filed a lawsuit against Black China, okay? And Rob claimed that Black China attempted to um, choke him with an iPhone cord, okay? And then Rob and Kylie alleged that they endured several months of injuries after attempts to extort them from my, after several attempts of Black China trying to extort them for money for her own gain and all this. I'm talking about it's just a complete ass mess, family. I'm just trying to give y'all a scoop on who Black China is, and I'm gonna get show y'all a picture of who Black China is, okay? And then in October the 17th. Uh, Black China filed her own lawsuit against Rob and the Kardashian girls, the sisters. Uh, she for allegedly that she said that they damaged her brand. They was damaging her brand. They was damaging her career. They was verbally and physically abusive to her and all that stuff, you know. So China was granted temporary uh temporary restraining order against Rob, okay? And in January 2020, Rob came back and filed a primary custody. He filed for primary custody of his daughter, okay? And he claiming that, oh, Black China constantly be hosting parties at her house, and he alleges that she be getting how off that sugar booger, you know, and he alleged she always stay drunk, and uh, he said that she spent about $600 on alcohol every day, and he says she violent, okay? So now, um, let me stop right there, and I'm going to show y'all pictures of Black China and Rob, Okay? And so y'all will see who Black China is. And um, y'all will be able to see who I'm talking about. So now this is Black China and Rob. Okay. And, and like I said, family, if you look at these pictures, Black China was looking okay. See, that's Black China. That's Black China and Rob Kardashian. Okay? That's him. That's her and Rob Kardashian. And then if you look at these pictures, that's her and Rob Kardashian. Okay? Um... Black China and Rob Kardashian. And then you'll see here's another picture of Black China and Rob Kardashian. Okay? And then you'll see here's another picture of Rob and Black and uh Black China. Rob Kardashian and Black China. Okay, so you can see she had herself, her stuff together. Okay, and uh, very nice looking girl, business career, and all that good stuff. Now, here's a picture of when she was pregnant. And you can see Rob holding um, her stomach and everything. So, they was a pretty okay couple, seemed like, you know? Um... Look like they was doing okay. Okay. That's another picture of her and Rob Kardashian. Okay. 
So it looked like they was doing okay, you know? And then all hell so-called broke loose, okay, on the whole situation. So now let's go back to talking about how this whole thing was done. And let me turn on the turn on lights. So so anyway, family. So y'all see that Black China is a very nice looking young lady. Okay. And um she had her little stuff together and everything. Okay. And it seems like until she got with those Kardashians, okay? And I guess that's why people so called say the Kardashian curse, okay? So I'm gonna get to about her holding somebody hostage. I just wanted to give y'all the rundown on how her career was and how she was and how, you know, like she was well put together and everything. And then she started dating Rob Kardashian. And even though she was a little wild and out of control before she met him, things looked like it took a downward turn when after she was finished dealing with this Kardashian man, okay? So now that's how I feel now, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So now, like I said, you had uh, Rob, who have now got her going through court in January 2020. He filed all those things against China, okay? So now, then you had Khloe Kardashian is also reportedly made a statement in the court filings, okay, that Rob... Rob them daughter, Rob and Black China daughter is more aggressive, I guess, because of her mom or whatever, and say that the little girl don't even want to go home to Black China sometimes and all this stuff. That's what they say that Chloe put down in the court filings, allegedly, along with her brother, okay? Now, so it just seems like Black China just been constantly going through a whole bunch of hell and mess since she been connected or got connected with that Kardashian brother, okay? Now, that's just how I feel. Now, I, have, I got a right for my opinion, you know what I'm saying? But it just seemed like she took a definitely deep dive after that. So, why they talking about the men or something? It seemed like it's a Kardashian curse with the men. Like every man that they talk to, uh, his career fall, or things don't turn out right, or seem like something wrong with him. It seemed the exact same thing with the female. But see, they tend to leave a black woman out of it. See, they talking about all oh, the black men. See, like when they got, uh, got you know, hooked up with those Kardashians, uh, things didn't go right. Yeah, and it seems like when she, the black female, got hooked up with them, things didn't go too well for her either. So uh, I just wanted to put that out there. Now, it seemed like that girl just had been going through constant hell. Ever since you dealing with that Kardashian clan. I'm just sorry. That's all I got to say, you know. And about two months ago. So now we're going to get to Black China's behavior. So um, she had been kind of acting kind of strange and stuff ever since she stopped messing with these Kardashians or whatever. But two months ago, around two months ago, she was in an airport, y'all. And she was acting real strange. I mean, you know, uh, you know, uh, I don't know now because she was acting like she, she acted like she was on some sugar booger. I, she was acting like she was straight on the donut powder. I don't know what she was doing, but she was in the airport and she was talking to herself. And I'm going to let y'all see that too. But she was in the airport and she was just talking to herself and she was raising sand about people not taking the dot. Uh, uh, and then she raising hell about some other stuff, talking about she from here and she from there. She just did, when she was in the middle of that airport, and y'all will see it, because I'm going to show it to y'all, but y'all will see her security guard. It's like they didn't say nothing. They just let the girl stand there and just look pathetic, just look outrageous. It just didn't make no sense for somebody that was on her team, whether they bodyguards or not, that they sat there and let that girl make a slap of ass fool of herself in the front of that damn airport. And I'm, I'm going to show y'all that. But first, let me just show y'all that it's a clip that came out last week. And 
uh, I seen the guy on there who was saying that his friend, Ch Black China was holding his friend hostage. Uh, he said this happened like the day after Thanksgiving, that Black China had through some type of um, event. And then everybody went back to her hotel. And when they went to her hotel, he say, he got it on the camera and you will see it. He's saying that Black China... Uh, that he said something smart to Black China in the hotel room. Black China threw him out but kept his friend in there. And Black China told him to leave. He said, but when he left out the door, he she Black China slammed the door behind him and kept his friend in there and was holding his friend in there. He said for about 20 minutes, he kept beating on the door saying, let my friend out of there. She came with me and uh, I want her out of there. He said he could hear the girl crying on the, uh, behind the door that she was ready to get out of that damn uh, place, okay? But anyway, I'm gonna let y'all see the video on that and then we'll talk about a little bit of that, you know, and see what y'all think about that family, okay? So, now, let's do that because he was saying that, oh, my friend, she kept my friend in there and uh, she won't release my friend out of her room. Okay, so he said he was trying to get his friend up out that room. So, head go right here. Okay, so this is her. Now, they trying to get... They trying to get the girl out of the room. Hold on, family. Hold on, family. Hold on, family. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Let me do this again for y'all. But this is it. He 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 got somebody else to try to get his friend, one of China's uh, entourage, to try to get that girl out of the room. seen that and so let me let y'all see okay let me let y'all see the clip uh, about two months ago now the one y'all just saw with they say that China was holding that girl hostage or whatever like that 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 was that incident that just came out last week okay now let me show y'all how black China was acting inside of an airport about Two months ago. And then we're going to just discuss that right quick. And then I'm going to close it out. But now this is. This is how Black China. Now she talking. She talking to herself. 
Okay, here you go. family so y'all um see how she acted okay and um she was literally talking to herself didn't nobody mess with her um anything like that you know didn't nobody uh tick her off or nothing like that she just started getting in the middle of the airport while they waiting on, I guess, they flight. And she just started clowning. Okay? She just literally started clowning. Okay? And, um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, family. She, something is going on with Black China, and you just don't know what but it looked like she was on that sugar booger there. I'm sorry. It, she get, All that gave me crackhead tease. Okay? It all gave me crackhead tease. I'm sorry. I don't care what nobody say. She's dressed fly. She's, you know, she got a little hair in and her glasses. But she looking fly. But something is very, look like it's off. Okay? So now, let's go to that first clip. That they said she was they was she was holding this chick hostage. Now the boy said that uh he said something inside the room that pissed Black China off, and she told him to get the hell out of her room. So then when he gets up to get out of her room, the, the 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 white chick that was with him, she was following him out, but when he went out the door, he said Black China closed the door and kept his friend in there. Then he said while his friend was in there, she was crying and doing all that, okay? So now, then when Black China little entourage or whoever they is, they came. He was trying to tell them, hey, she got my friend inside there and won't let my friend out, right? And he said he had been outside of that door for about 20 minutes trying to get Black China to let his friend out of that room, okay? Because he said he could hear his friend crying, okay? So then when Black China entourage finally knocks on the door, you see that lady say China, and China, Black China opens up the door, and you can see Black China standing there, look like to me, with a robe on and some shit around her head, and then there's some old folks that tried to rush in the door, and while somebody else trying to go in the door, the the, the girl, the white girl, is trying to come out the door, and then it looks like they kind of pushed her out of the door or something like that, and then that's when all that started, okay? Now, when the entourage knocked on the door and told China to open up the door, and China opened up the door, 
Child of Dead say, you stay out there. She talks to that dude. She said, you stay out there. You can't come in. That's when other people was trying to come in. But she was telling that dude, you can't come in here, right? But then that white girl got her way up out of there and started coming out of there. So I don't know if China, Black China was holding that girl hostage or not. But I'm going to tell you, they said that was about 3 o'clock or something in the morning after a show or something that Black China had. And I'm going to tell you, don't nothing good happen at 3 o'clock in the morning. Everybody going to Black China's hotel and stuff at 3 o'clock in the morning. That just ain't no good vibes to me. No way. I don't I don't know if they was all in there doing that sugar booger that they had on one um article said something about black china holds somebody hostage on a drug binge or some some shit like that i don't know uh, that's allegedly you know because don't nobody know what they were doing inside there you know and then i seen some interview where that that dude there that was filming and wanted his friend to come out that room i saw an interview where he said i ain't never see black china doing no drugs or anything but people do be drinking people was drinking or something like that but he didn't never say nothing about no drugs was involved you know why because it would have got damn pinpoint his ass too about being high and shit so that whole thing looked like a bunch of damn crackheads to me doing something they ain't had no business at three o'clock in the morning now, i don't like to call people names or nothing like that but three o'clock in the morning everybody bunched up in that black china uh hotel room and everybody sitting there looking crazy and shit the girl in there crying then the girl come out crying she all on the elevator crying then folks coming down the hallway trying to uh, follow them or make sure they get in the hotel uh, safe. Then you see Black China hit a curve a little bit. Like, I don't know if she was coming to say something to him or was she coming to be violent to him. You just, it was just a whole big ass mess. Whole big ass mess. I'm telling you. It was just a whole big mess, family. And and it just don't make no sense. That 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 whole scene gave me some female pimping to me. It, it that that whole scene looked like female pimping to me. Uh, Cause uh it was folks going in and folks pushing out and all that shit. And then if you got the crying and can on and throwing your ass out, they threw his ass out at first for a reason. Now he said because he got small with black china. We still don't know if that's true. But I guess when they all go to court, they'll get all that stuff straight because they did say that now the police or whoever is investigating this issue. But what I'm trying to say is Black China, you got too much going for yourself, girl, to be wrapped up in this. You already going to court with these Kardashians about custody of your kid. You already going to court with these Kardashians about you are violent. Already going to court with Rob Kardashian saying that you own that sugar booger allegedly. You already going to court and you saying that they have damaged your brand and then they're saying you're trying to extort money from them and I, it's just a slap ass mess family. Just a slap ass mess. But what I can say is things started trickling down with Black China. She seemed like, like I said, she's up under that Kardashian curse, allegedly. And to me, it looks like she might have been set up that night right there. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not putting no blames on no victims or nothing like that. But what I am saying is, you don't need to be in nobody hotel at no 3 o'clock in the morning and a whole bunch of y'all is in one damn room and then shit go wrong, can't nobody see. You should have been filming on the inside. As soon as that boy said... Oh, she threw me out or whatever. No, when he said he got smart with Black China and Black China told his ass to get out and all that, he should have been filming from the inside until he got his ass thrown out that door. That's what he should have did. You know what I'm saying? Because see, you're going to need a whole lot of more evidence. But to me, Black China, when she opened up the door, she looked kind of calm to me. She just opened up the door looking at like, you can come in, you come in, you can't come in here. She talking about the dude that's filming. You can't, you can't come in here, you stay outside. And he said, I'm not staying outside, I want my friend up out of there. You know what I'm saying? So, Black China didn't seem erratic like she did at that airport. She seemed more calm at that hotel than she did at that airport. Okay? So, now I want to talk about that airport. 
She run around there talking to herself. Who is your PR team, uh, Black China? Come and tell you, all these people got these PR teams, and these PR teams are not looking out. A lot of them are not looking out for their primary uh, job, and that's to make sure that that star don't be looking stupid, foolish, and looking like a goddamn crackhead all on film. They supposed to be making sure that nothing come out on their star. No, 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 none of this type of degrading, nasty behavior. They supposed to be making sure of this. DPR people nowadays seem like most of them are just there for the check. They gives a damn about how to start act, how to start ruin their career, nothing like that. You know why? Because when that star career is ruined, they're going to go and apply to be the next star's PR person. I'm going to tell you right now, that shit ain't looking good. I'm going to tell you right now, but I don't know who her PR team is, but she need to fire all of them. And Black China, you need to go somewhere, baby. And go get your ass some help. Go get your ass some help somewhere. Please take yourself somewhere to an intervention center or whatever. And it might not even be because uh, of no drugs or nothing like that. I'm just saying. It just don't look right. Something going wrong. Rather, it is. Uh, it could be sugar booger or it could be mentally something going on. Whatever it is, baby, you need to take your ass somewhere and go get seen about and get help and everything so you get yourself back together. Because shit like this ain't going to do nothing but try to... Them people try to get their, their kids taken away from you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This whole situation is trifling. It was tri that whole situation that they claimed that Black China had that girl hostage. And to me, Black China opened up the door and let the damn girl out. And, and if you look at it, it looked like she pushed the girl out. Like, get your ass on. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. And But then the girl started crying and all on the elevator. Oh, and then the girl, y'all yeah, heard the girl when she said, she is so mean. She is so mean. She is so fucking mean. You know, now. I'm listening because I'm trying to see if she ever say that Black China put her hands on her. And she did not say that. I'm trying to, I was trying to see if she say, she was just holding me and wouldn't let me out of there. She was, she never said that. Only thing she kept saying was sorry to the guy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And he kept saying, you don't have to be sorry. It's not your fault. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But now, I looked at an interview that he did, and they asked him, well, why was she saying she's sorry so much? Why was she kept on saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry? And he said, oh, because me and her work together, and she knows that I do jobs for stars. And he said he was doing a job for Black China at her event, and so he just went to a hotel. And so he said she had never been around a star before. And so she, he, he told her she can go with him. And then she was saying, no, nah, I don't want to go because I, I never been around a star before and I don't want to ruin nothing. And I don't. he said, no, you won't ruin anything. You just come on and you go with me and you be my guest or something like that. So when this broke out, he say that she felt like everything was her fault because if she hadn't came with him, all this wouldn't have had happened or something. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's what he said. But he said that's the reason why she kept saying, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. As if she ruined his event. And he was like, no, you don't have to be sorry about nothing like that. Because he was the one working for Black China to do some type of, I don't know. He, I think he do videos or something like that for her. I don't know. But that's what he said. Yeah, family. So, the whole damn situation and the whole story kind of stank a little bit because he was he all he was saying, well, I ain't never seen Black China do any drugs. I didn't see anybody that was there do any drugs, you know. But of course, any party you gonna have liquor and people drinking and stuff like that. No, we they asked you, was it any drugs or anything involved? He never once like spit out say, yeah, we had some kind uh some uh great goose and you know we had some vodka and we had some gin and you know we had some Bacardi. We had he never say specifically what was going on inside that room. 
he always jumped back to the outside. So that's why I said it looks like to me the whole thing might have been. I did not see where Black China was really holding the girl hostage, you know. And a lot of people might not agree with me. I'm not. I'm not blaming any victim or anything like that because I was waiting on the victim when she was doing that crime. At the elevator door and inside the elevator, I was waiting on her to say, and she wouldn't even let me out. She was just holding me, or one of her friends was holding me, and I was trying to get out, but they just wouldn't let me out. I did not hear that. Only thing I heard, or she put her hand, or Black China put her hands on me, and I was just so scared or whatever. I never, only thing I've heard her say was, and family, y'all could go back and look at it, is that. She is so damn mean. Oh my God, she is so damn mean. And maybe because Black China mouth, because Black China do have a smart mouth. Oh, that, 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 that. She does have a smart ass mouth. You can go back and look at some of her reality shows, because she have, a, she had a reality show out, and she do have a lot of damn mouth. So a lot of people are not used to that. But I did hear her say, she is so mean. She is so mean. That's all I heard. That's all I heard. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to need a hell of a lot more evidence in a courtroom, most likely, to prove that she was being held hostage because Black China did open up the door and damn near pushed the girl out the door. You know, so it's just a whole lot. But Black China, I just need, we just need for you to get your act together. Because all that shit gave me trick tease. All that tricking tease. That's all it got. Then she in the damn airport acting like she low on brain cells. Now, Black China, you in that airport acting like you low on all kind of brain cells. You got all that shit looking like crackhead tease. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all stop sniffing on that damn powder donut. Please do. Because that shit don't look right. That shit look real fun. I mean, just in the airport stinking up the joint. Just talking. And I then. And I then. And I then. Because I'm from New York. Because I'm from this. And I then. Ain't nobody mess with me. Ain't nobody gonna mess with me. I tell you that. I tell you that. And then you had some old uh, girl who was filming this instigating, saying, right on, sister, right on. I hear you. I see what you're saying. She, she trying to bait Black China to keep on looking a goddamn fool. Whoever that person was behind that camera now, you need your ass uh, told because you know that was wrong. You know that's wrong right there. You know good and well you shouldn't have had that lady. Don't, I mean, if you have her own film, you shut your mouth. You don't uh, tell, preach, girl, preach, because it wasn't nothing China was preaching about. Nothing. Everything was off on low brain cells. She wasn't preaching about nothing. But this girl here, she wanted to keep trying to keep going to make her keep making herself look foolish and stupid and like a fool. So she, go ahead, sister. Yeah, I understand. And then China said, you understand what I'm saying? And then the girl said, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do preach, sister. She said, yeah, I'm glad somebody know what I'm saying. Preach, sister. But you see this right now. You serious right now? That person behind the camera was low on goddamn brain cells, the damn self, for doing that to that woman and making and making that woman continue to act a fool. She could have continued to record her, but don't bait her up. Let her goddamn keep on until her battery running low off of low brain ass cells. But you don't enhance the shit. So I don't know who that was behind that camera, but I do want to tell that person, you very savage, sister. You very savage. Very savage. But that's all I got to say about that. Black John, please get yourself together here. Please go and check yourself in somewhere and get yourself together because you got too much to lose. You got the brand to lose. You got your business to lose. You got your kids to lose. And you're already going up against court with the Kardashian clan, sister. Uh, so you really need to straighten up your act. That's all I got to say about that. Gain knowledge to prevent blockage. And we all know what that means. The more you know, the harder it is for anybody to block y'all from y'all goals and success. Bye-bye.